Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be briefly going over the channel linking in the advanced tab in FabFilter Pro L. Uh, and this is kind of, you know, it's there if you need it. You don't really use it uh, because, you know, the effects can be detrimental. But if you use correctly, you can achieve even more loudness. So with the uh, transient link, uh, if it's set all the way to 100, um, even if something is only on the left channel, there will be limiting on the left and right. So that's that. If it's set to zero, if something happens on the left, only the left uh, channel will be limited. Um, this is a good way to get even more loudness and kind of process things independently. Uh, and it's a variable degree and the default is 60. So if something, you know, is limited and it's like 10 dB of gain reduction, you'll get uh, 4 dB of gain reduction on the other side. Uh, and that's a, that's a good balance. It uh, kind of preserves the stereo image. It's all good. The release, the stereo link to release, you know how we have the release time and you can have pumping or whatnot. The release should really be left at 100. You can get a really skewed stereo image and like washiness and stuff like that, undesirable things. I think it even warns you right here. Uh, yeah, unlinking affects the stereo field in a much more noticeable way. So yeah, I was right. I know everything. Uh, I'm just joking. Yeah, so generally you want to have that set to 100. But, you know, you can uh, give it a try. Uh, but yeah, you're going to want to leave that to 100, the release time set and uh, linked for both the left and right. Um, that is pretty much it for that. Uh, hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.